In one of our previous videos, we talked about the working and construction of a lead acid battery. In this video, we will be having a brief discussion on the recycling infrastructure of a lead acid battery. These batteries are the most widely used batteries, excluding the lithium ion batteries. They are used in automobiles, golf carts, uh, industrial forklifts, power backup systems, and etc. These batteries are recycled more than any other major consumer product. Even with the help of advertising and awareness programs, normal customer products have never been able to catch up with the success and efficiency of the battery recycling industry. The following chart will portray the efficiency of this industry. 95% of the components of a lead acid battery can be recycled. This is much higher than the recycling rate of the most recycled material by volume, steel. Because of the recycling industry, the price of lead acid batteries has been lower than other battery types for the same capacity. It also has promoted sustainability among people. During the recycling process, the battery is completely discharged by draining the acid in the battery. The batteries are then fed into a rotating hammer, which breaks the battery parts into bits and pieces. These broken pieces are then fed into a conveyor, which drops them into a huge container of water. The plastic and the lead are separated from each other by gravity separation. The heavy lead metal sinks to the bottom of the tank while the broken plastic pieces float on the surface of the water. After separation, the individual materials undergo their own recycling process. The lead electrodes of these batteries have lead sulfate crystals on their surface. These crystals are separated from the metal before being refined. These electrodes are recycled and smelted into new lead bars. These are sold to battery manufacturers to be used in new batteries. This process recycles almost all the lead that is used. There is a good chance that the electrodes in your car or bike's battery are from recycled lead. The reclaimed plastic piece from the casing are broken into fine bits and pieces. These are filtered and melted into plastic pellets for reuse. The plastics used in these batteries is usually made of polypropylene. It is reused to make a wide variety of items such as chairs, plastic containers, pipes, and etc. Polypropylene is also used in the textile industry to make pollution masks because of its ability to be tightly woven. The final recyclable material is the acid. Majority of the acid is chemically treated and reduced to sodium sulfate. The sodium sulfate is then sold to retailers to be used in household goods like washing powder and soaps. It is also used in the glass industry to remove tiny air bubbles that form inside the glass during cooling process. Well, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to check out the website. We have a huge collection of industry targeted courses for both working professionals and students to hone their skills. We are rapidly increasing the number of courses that we offer without compromising in quality. Also follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook. We will meet again in the next video. Thank you. Bye.